welcome you back dear students we are learning some techniques to solve some of the electromagnetism problems and here we were during last class we have calculated the speed of a photon at it enters inside the magnetic field and now this is another problem uh, where an eight mv of photon enters perpendicularly into a uniform magnetic field and the strength of magnetic field is given point a the force on the uh, proton and b what will be the radius of the path of the proton so here are the two problems two portions of these questions which are needed to be calculated so if you look at this is basically kinetic energy of the electron that is uh, 8 mev uh, if you convert it into electron volt it is 8 multiplied to minus minus 6 electron volt so the kinetic energy in the joule you have calculated with the help of multiplying the charge of it with the uh, given energy so you calculate 12.8 multiplied to minus power minus 12 so this is the technique to calculate the amount of energy from electron volt to joule so here is the value of the energy in joule so if you look at the kinetic energy Kinetic energy formula is half mv square that is equal to 12.8 multiplied by to minus 12 joule. If you are asked to calculate the speed, then this this will be the speed because there is speed is not given. So first we need to calculate the speed, then we will be able to calculate the force at the end. And it will be more easier for us to calculate the radius because in radius we will use the value of the speed as well. So if you look at this is the value of the speed and we have calculated value of the speed by using the concept of the basic tool of energy and after getting energy we have calculated the speed of the charge particle of the proton so here it is you are asked to calculate the force on the proton so it is value of the field is uh, magnetic field is 2.5 uh, angle it enters in the perpendicularly that is 90 degree so the here is the formula which we have already discussed in the last last problem that is qvb sine theta and if you look at the value of uh, charge is already given the speed we have already calculated so if, if you if you look at the value of the b it is also given the value of angle is also given so which technique you have used basically this was the technique used to calculate the speed after looking at back at the given data so we need to calculate the speed and we have calculated the speed by using this technique so at the end you have calculated force and for the calculation of the force you need charge you need the speed to be the charge particle moves uh, in in what the strength what is the strength of the field in which the charge particles enter and with what angle it enters and you can calculate the force acting in the charge particle so here is the force acting you have calculated by using the value or the values required so next is uh, we know that the radius of a circular path followed by a charge particle inside a magnetic field is given by this is basically formula which is used to calculate so it is r is equal to mv divided by qv so after putting value mass is given so mass of the proton so velocity we have already calculated charge of the proton you know is 1.6 into 10 to minus 19 value of the b is also given after putting values you have calculated the radius of the path followed by the charge particle so if you look at which formula you have used this is the formula which you are, you are using to calculate the radius of the char uh, charge particle which uh, when it enters perpendicularly in a uniform magnetic field of the strength 2.5 tesla it will follow the circular path you know during the theory classes you have already learned that when a charge particle enters perpendicular to a magnetic field then it follows the circular path so 
we were asked to calculate the radius of the circular path and this is a formula which is used to calculate the radius of the circular path so moving the next for the next numerical the problem of wire carrying current of 10 milliampere experiences the force of 2 newton in a uniform magnetic field what is the force on it when the current, current rises in 30 milliampere so when the current arises to 30 milliampere, here it is the first value of the current is uh, uh, 10 multiplied times per minus 3 ampere, milliampere you have converted into ampere. So this was the force acting that is 2 Newton. When the current increases up to 30 milliampere, you are asked to calculate the what will be the force acting then. So this is formula which is used to calculate the force on a current carrying wire inside a magnetic field that is b i l sine theta you look at when the i changes to i dash then this equation will become uh, the force acting that is f dash n uh, b i l dash l sine theta this is the force acting uh, when the value of the current changes so the current changes by i if you take the ratio between the two this one this sine theta cancels with the sine theta l cancels with this l v cancels with this p so you are getting f dash n divided by f n that is equal to i dash divided by i so you are asked to calculate the force acting at that time when the current changes from 10 milliampere to 30 milliampere so here is 30 milliampere here it is 10 milliampere after putting all values, you are calculating the force acting at that time. The force acting is 6 Newton. So before the time when the uh, current was 10 ampere, milliampere, the force acting was 2 Newton. And when the current is increased up to 30 ampere, basically it increases 3 times. And that is 2 multiplied 3 divided 6. So mathematically, by using formula, you have used techniques to calculate the amount of the force acting on a current carrying file uh, when it moves inside a magnetic field, uniform magnetic field. You can calculate the force acting up to which value the current is increased or decreased. This is basically current increase from 10 milliampere to 30 milliampere. At that time, the force acting was this one. First, we have calculated force acting when the, uh, the current is 10 milliampere then we have calculated the force acting when the current is 30 ampere when we have taken the ratio between the two to calculate the exact amount of the force acting when the current is increased by 30 uh, milliampere and you if you see the force is also increased by the same factor that is if you look at it is 10 it is three times of 10 30 and the force was two newton three times the force is increased and it becomes six newton. So this is the logical thing to understand. I thank you very much for your um, attention.